Hi, this is Madeline from Sonic Bloom with a new episode of the Abent Life Insider Tips. And this time I want to introduce you to a very cool feature for the looper in Abent Life. This is not a new feature, it's been included from the beginning and it's even documented. But even though I specifically upgraded for the looper to Life 8, I only discovered it a couple of years later. So my guess is that most people are not aware of this. And with this feature, you can actually create overdubs on the fly while creating changes of effects and so on that you can overdub within the looper. Yeah, so I already have a looper set up here with a little roads phrase. Then I've got another audio track where I already have included a couple of effects that I would like to show you how to overdub with this feature. And then what's really important is like you already have to have a phrase recorded in the looper and you have to have a, a looper in the set for, the, for this to work. And so then what you do is you create another track like I have here with the effects in it. And then the other things happen through routing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it to to audio because this is where the looper is set and then here you suddenly see insert looper that you can select and that's what we're going to do and then we're going to choose audio 2 here as well because this is a kind of like a feedback routing that we're going to create select insert looper here again as well and then we're going to have to make sure that this is set to monitoring in and then what we can do is we can simply go and start play playing the looper and then also put it in overdub and then I'm turning on the auto pan and I'm just recording this I could also change the amount but I just want to record this on top here now And as you can hear, it's been recorded. I can put this back into play mode because now the auto pen is off. So clearly this is coming from the looper itself. Let's put it back into overdub mode. Here it's been recorded. We've recorded this as well, and so you could do this, you know, continuously and overdub and overdub and create new things. And as you could see, like, of course, for the initial recording, you would have to have it set to, you know, external in or to another track where you want to record the loop from. And you have it have it in monitoring in or have the record button on so you can record into the looper. But after that, you can simply have it as a normal track where it's not armed, where monitoring is not set to in and it'll work. And of course, you can use this very well for live performance. You can also use this in your music production because there's always the chance that you like something there and then you can just drag it over and put this on a new track, for example. And then I could do more things with this audio clip that we've got now from this. And this way you can create overdubs on the fly and it's very, very cool for live performance. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and uh, I'll hopefully see you next time. Bye.